We are back with a very alert talk show. We didn't know when the time is, was flowing, Mr. Ambassador, right. didn't we? Uh, let me ask you another question, and uh, I think it is an important one. You have a big minori minority of, from Russia. Uh, out of the three countries, you have the biggest minority the, from the Baltic countries. Twenty-five uh, percent? Uh, about, I, yeah. About twenty-five percent. Mm -hmm. And you also have a good representation in the parliament. Sure. Yeah. Uh, we have twenty-five uh, uh, seats, if yeah, I yeah. Uh, yeah. know correctly, mm -hmm. out of one hundred. Mm -hmm. So it's twenty-five yeah. percent from Basically the parliament. Cor corresponds. Yeah, yeah corresponds with the, with the mm -hmm. representation of the population. Which is a very good sign of democracy. Which is a very good sign of democracy, of course. But I want to ask you something. Is this used by Russia as a tool? Well, uh, one can answer, of course, um, if I to have to put proof on the table, of no, course, no, legally, no, in a legal sense, I, I can, no. cannot. But uh, from judging from the different kind of moves, of course, one can say that to an extent, uh, obviously. Uh, um, but it's a very complex picture. First of all, this community is very complex. I mean, a uh, community of ethnic Russians. I yes. mean, it differs from the their social positions, uh, their uh, social status, I mean, what kind of uh, people those are we are speaking about, is mm -hmm. business people. And we have also, I mean, we have uh, inherited that from the Soviet times uh, because there was a massive immigration during the uh, end of 60s, 70s and still in 80s. I mean, there was massive industrialization, the Soviets. Uh, uh, did make in Latvia uh, and they needed the labor force and labor force was coming in from Russia mostly. Uh, um, then we, that's the one, one segment of society we have inherited but we have also recent uh, developments because uh, we all know that with the worsening of economic situation in uh, Russia after the uh, war in Ukraine there is an outflow of capital and outflow of people also. And uh, some of them are landing with their capital also in, uh, with their money also in Latvia. And this is um, one, one uh, interesting sign and it uh, could be uh, beneficial for mm -hmm. Latvia and it could be a big loss for Russia, I mean, obviously. Um, what I was thinking is that um, if Russia um, would uh, proceed with you as, uh, it, as it did with the Crimea or is trying mm -hmm. in Moldova with uh, those uh, uh, regions uh, are familiar with these evolutions. Do they try to push for, um, let's say, uh, destabil destabilizing Latvia through the minority, from their minority? Well, um, to an extent, as a theoretical scenario, you can play with that. Uh, but there are, again, many elements at play. Mm -hmm. Well, in the basis, then it comes down to the Article 5 of North Atlantic Treaty Organization. So that well, might invading. limit an not, appetite not, not to... Not invading. I'm not yeah. speaking about uh, military invasion. Well, I'm quite um, sure. Uh, but then again, I mean, uh, what kind of motivation? What kind of end result? I mean, what do you, uh, how, what do you propose? What do you think that the... I mean, those people who... Uh, we have actually massive also immigration, and, but the majority, as uh, statistics show, majority of the people uh, leaving uh, Latvia, um, actually ethnic Russians are more going out than ethnic Latvians. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I have my own personal explanation for that because we are speaking about uh, on many occasions about first and second generation of immigrants who migrated to the better economic uh, and social conditions during 70s and 80s when they came to Latvia. And now when Latvia is European Union and they see better economic social conditions somewhere yes. else, it's easier for them, because they have not lived for generations, it's easier for them to, to pick up and, 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 and to go elsewhere. So uh, we actually, we had a shrinking Russian minority uh, proportion in Latvia. It was uh, 34 to 36 percent in 1990. Okay. Uh, now it's 25. Uh, you see, I mean, the tendency. The, the, the tendency. But, Still uh, very high. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but that's reality. I it's mean, that's, that's yeah, our, our, course, our heritage. Course, uh, given that, I mean, but those who are staying also there, they, they are not going for jobs to Russia like people from Ukraine did. I mean, uh, because why? Because Russia has nothing to offer. I mean, that's in true. terms of salary, it's a huge uh, difference in general. Okay, in Moscow you can get uh, higher salaries, but then yes. the living uh, living costs are no, but, also. But I don't want to give the impression that we have something that it's a problem with the Russian uh, minority living in uh, in your yeah, country. I mean, no, that's no, no. Yeah, I mean, they are happy living within are, uh, the European Union country. 
and uh, they, they, yeah, uh, they are European. Not all of them, but majority. Okay, but but, uh, but uh, then, I mean, uh, what kind of alternative? Who can propose better alternative of in Ukraine? Uh, unfortunately, but in my and that's my personal opinion in Ukraine. This element about the economic element, in my opinion, it played a certain role, uh, whether it was true, truth or not. But this in Crimea in particular, uh, one of the propaganda elements was, oh, you join Russia, you will get higher pensions, higher salaries. You, you can't apply that to Latvia. I mean, Absolutely. <laughs> you cannot get higher. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, this is the most, yes. uh, most horrible uh, story for, I think, for uh, Russians living in Latvia would be, there would be nothing more horrible than to propose them to exchange their euros for, uh, for uh, Russian ruble. For Absolutely. Instance. Uh, I, I was asking you these questions because it's in the spirit of the um, in the spirit in the spirit yes in the spirit mm. of uh, the way Russia proceeds they use uh, different means that's yeah, why no, must, as uh, excuse yeah as, as excuse. in reality in the reality uh, uh, again that's my personal opinion but in reality they couldn't care less uh, as as we see now from donetsk uh, eastern ukraine yes yes about they the russians there they couldn't care less yeah. about russians there because if they would care about Russians sure. living in Donetsk, they wouldn't destroy their uh, livelihood. I mean, uh, millions of people left without Absolutely. electricity, kindergarten, schools, Absolutely. basic things, basically. I will ask you a question, uh, which is, I think, relevant. Uh, this 25%, the party mm. represented, representing my yeah. minority of... Uh, but they are not 100%. I mean, there, there is a certain mixture. Part of the Latvian yeah. segment also, I mean, votes for them. There are representatives, uh, ethnic Latvians, inside as well i mean it's uh, it okay. is it's not the ideal mixture could be better could be more yes. because uh, okay. uh, the the bare truth is in latvia you cannot uh, uh, as far as minorities go or russian ethnic uh, minority goes you cannot build a party on uh, shrinking uh, anti the shrinking part of the of the population in numbers and then expect that you will you will be leading uh, leading coalition uh, alone no yes, they cannot yes, do that they if they want to enter into a governing coalition they need some partners and partners they can find only among the other parties latvian parties so it's a kind of coalition teamwork you are a brilliant uh, diplomat because you anticipated my question. Mm. And my question was, is it dangerous if they become uh, leading party? Yes, leading. Yeah, the, but the as I said, the, the, the president of Latvia, and I apologize for this, uh, mm. I didn't uh, uh, ask you before, is, it, is representing which party uh, now? The president of Latvia. Uh, well, he was elected with the support of uh, the Greens and, 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 and farmers. Yeah. But uh, now we have presidential elections, and uh, so the the Russian uh, the, the Russian minority doesn't have any tools or or didn't country they don't do they have any power to influence uh, the decisions presidential elections or yes uh, presidential because, because the they have uh, they have the deputies parliament. in the parliament of course they yes. because the parliament elects uh, the president of course I mean they play a role as everyone else I mean as uh, uh, and the president is now belonging not belonging to their party no 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 it's, so it was elected from a different party but with the support of uh, 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 most likely because it's closed vote. I must ask you this. But uh, Riga you City, Riga City Council uh, uh, is representing uh, their party. The 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 uh, the uh, chairman of the Riga City Council is uh, from from their party, and that's because uh, I mean Riga is very mixed. I mean in terms of it's very cosmopolitan uh, city, very mixed population. Latvians are bare. It's not yet majority even, but uh, mm. it's it's uh, it's. Uh, it has always been so uh, throughout the history. Yes, I asked you this question because I've read in, uh, in the international press uh, many counter, co counter arguments which I didn't found it correctly. That's why I was politely mm. asking, asking this question about yeah, the president. Sure. And uh, international, some international analysts were Probably saying... Probably there is mix up with Riga City Council. Uh, so. No, no. They were yeah. saying that the, he was elected with support from the... It could be. From, it the, ethnic, uh, from the Russian ethnic minority. That's why, the, that's why the president of uh, Latvia is not so aggressive as the other two presidents. No. But in my view, it's a false mm, argument. No, and no, not, no, uh, no, no, no. He is, no, he, but president, our president in general, is uh, very careful in his uh, foreign policy um, how to say statements and, not and very balanced. Power, uh, not having a lot of yeah, absolutely. Power. They by constitution uh, that's a limited 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 power. power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I would like to ask you about Romania and Latvia. Mm -hmm. And here I want to thank you for the support you offered Romania. Uh, 
because we are a country which is in process of being a part of Schengen. You are already from 2007. Sure. Sure. And we, are, uh, we don't understand why Romania is not uh, uh, already there. And I want to ask you, Mr. Ambassador, as you, your position is known, uh, how do you see the process of uh, Romania's doing its uh, homeworks about mm. Schengen and uh, our uh, accession uh, and the process of accession? How do you see it? No, I mean, uh, really, it's a political issue. I mean, uh, technically speaking, uh, the Council has already recognized the progress made and uh, in 2011, actually, already back then. But they, uh, there were raised um, other objections and uh, cooperation verification mechanism established and, uh, and uh, all related things. So it's, it's a political objection because taking a decision requires unanimity for, yes, for all course. member countries. We, we tried hard, I mean, uh, to achieve that. Uh, uh, we didn't do it dur during our presidency, but we hope that the uh, next presidency will continue to pursue this, this, this goal and will put it forward. And, uh, and uh, yesterday we, I participated in a meeting uh, with um, your state president and uh, he also expressed uh, um, his, uh, his wish or, or his thinking that he um, could be uh, that uh, as a possibility maybe during the second half of the year I mean there will be a, there will be a progress made and positive decision yes. but, but um, uh, we will see about it. it's political issue. I also, also express our gratitude because you did in, in, your, in the objectives of Latvia, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it, it's not uh, very common to get the presidency. It happens <laughs> no, <I laughs> very rare. So one of your objectives was to support Romania yeah, yeah. for yeah, getting, yeah. getting into Schengen. And this is, this is very important, and I want to thank you for that. Thank you. But we have to observe also the decision-making process, how it works. And uh, if, if, if countries raise objections, so that's a reality. We have to deal with that. And uh, uh, objections, I, I also listened to the arguments put forward that... Uh, that this, uh, this is not only about technical side, technical gadgets on the borders, but also about the effectiveness of legal system uh, to pr process things and, 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 and uh, anti-corruption uh, efforts and so on and so on. I mean, but still are two, two separate mechanisms. Yeah, I know. I mean, uh, in your view, is the same because uh, the CDM, in my view, has a positive role on Romania. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. But, but putting it together or no, overlapping I mean, of it course. Uh, I mean, uh, we should be equal treatment. I mean, the, the, the same preconditions like we did when we joined the, uh, exactly. the Schengen area. Yes. Yeah. But uh, it's political reality. I mean, one, 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 one has to deal with it. So from, po from your point of view, it's more, uh, more inter internal political issues of the some EU countries uh, or it's... I, um, well, uh, obviously, that objections were raised by, by, by some mm -hmm. EU countries. There was no unanimity, I mean, in taking mm -hmm. the decision. So also, I mean, uh, Romania must, must uh, do, I mean, uh, this, this um, show the effort and convince those countries that uh, things are being put in order and, and there is no ground really for, for objecting anymore. Being part of the CVM, uh, I, I am totally for it. Mm -hmm because we are uh, mentioned positively in the, in the report. Yes. Mr. Ambassador, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, I'm not asking you to, to comment, but sometimes I feel that some countries, because of uh, internal political reasons, or uh, they have elections and they have to prove that they don't uh, agree with, uh, with the immigrants or whatever, mm -hmm. because uh, Romanians are already European citizens. They cannot mm -hmm. be called uh, immigrants. immigrants yeah. um, I, th I believe that some internal uh, political uh, issues are dictating and uh, the principles are just put it in front because if I clearly read the, tr the, the agreement for becoming a member of the EU mm -hmm. and how the CVM was established was never linked to Schengen, mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. never, mm -hmm. never ever linked to Schengen. Mm -hmm. it's, a, mm -hmm. it's a political uh, decision made by a member state. Mm -hmm. The European Commission has an official point of view, uh, both Barroso and Mr. Juncker, uh, made the same statement. Mm -hmm. The European Commission considers that you are ready to do. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate your point of view and your support in this sense. Mm -hmm. And you. I want to ask you uh, more about Latvia because uh, we have, uh, we are probably 10 minutes left. Mm -hmm. And I want, uh, oh, five minutes left. Okay. Oh, time is uh, running. Time is running. And I want you to tell us more about Latvia because the Romanian citizens are uh, not easily finding news where is not, uh, you know, s we are sometimes self-centered, all of us, not only sure, us, you, sure. us. Absolutely. And this is a talk show which shows that we are not alone on Earth. Absolutely. And, La and Latvia is quite close. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, 
Latvia is a great country to be there. I mean, it's and uh, also it's, tell us what to visit. Uh, oh, we have plenty. As I mentioned, I mean, if you if you want to come for tourism, there are lots of lots of things to see there. I mean, we have beautiful beautiful sea, Baltic Sea. Uh, for summer vacations, uh, we are not so spoiled with having a good weather, sunny days. So many <laughs> like in, in here in Romania, but okay. but we have some. Uh, then we have uh, beautiful historical heritage. I mean, we have uh, we have plenty of that. I mean, castles from medieval ages and uh, baroque and, and and all all sorts of that thing uh, for 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 tourism purposes. Uh, some of them have been restored. I mean, to the former former glory, uh, and they are enjoying the flow of tourism. Uh, we have uh, lots of cultural events, lots of art events during the summer, especially during the summer. Latvia is very active during the summer. Lots of music, I mean all kinds of music. We have very famous opera, uh, and, uh, but also open door events, uh, including op open door opera uh, stages. And uh, this is really beautiful. We have song festivals, which um, they, it's a national heritage tradition going back centuries. Uh, it has been similar in some other countries, but has died out. But you can see it's still thousands of thousands of participants in song festivals in Latvia when you come uh, come to Latvia. So it's a it's a great country to visit, and it's also a great country to do business. Uh, we have to promote actually also this business side and tourism side, and we are planning for uh, Minister of Economics visiting uh, Romania in uh, in the uh, in the nearest future. I don't know whether we will <laughs> make it during the next months. That's that's the aim, but probably a little bit later in this year. Uh, so we have to promote it because, uh, yes, really, geography plays a role. We are a little bit uh, distant in terms of geography. I mean, it's not so between Latvia and Poland. We have practically yes. neighbors. Yes. But with Romania, I checked the numbers. Uh, trade numbers are pretty low, actually. It could be better. I mean, but because even especially so when I see that your economy is doing great. It's growing. It's, it's, uh, growing, it's very yes. positive. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Nasser, you did a great job promoting your country in such a short time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you pointed out all the things. So I have a last one question, just to clarify for uh, Romanians and in general for the press. Uh, tell us about that puppet with the Putin, because it was making a huge rating. Uh, right. People, you know, you know what I'm speaking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know uh, the exposed, uh, the so-called uh, Putin <laughs> puppet exposed uh, in uh, Riga, and uh, we encourage people to do, to do something to harm that uh, puppet in uh, any way. Right. Please tell us the truth. No, I mean I can't. I can't be um, uh, prophet of truth, of course. Um, but uh, you know, they, there is art, and uh, within that uh, art segment, there are always some provocative elements of art. I mean, and I think in this case we are dealing with that. Uh, we uh, we encountered very uh, <laughs> peculiar situations because of this exhibition. I mean, the whole thing of crucifying someone, I mean, even a puppet, I mean... Uh, or even Putin. Uh, <laughs> even, yeah, I mean, but they, uh, the authors of that uh, piece of art, they uh, totally denied that it's Putin. They said okay. that they uh, made the resemblance of some, um, the face of some uh, Italian businessman, close friend of, of theirs. Okay. I don't know. I mean, it's, but it's an art provocation, but it's also a freedom of expression. You cannot deny it. I mean, uh, so it's... Uh, how do you regulate? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a fine line to walk. But on the other hand, if somebody sees in every piece of art Putin, I mean, it's also a little <laughs> bit bizarre for me. I don't well, know. It's <laughs> the international journalist <laughs> president of Riga did. Uh, and that's, uh, I mean, okay. the hundreds of journalists came for uh, Riga, uh, Riga Eastern Partnership Summit, and that was a stage, actually. Those artists wanted to promote themselves, obviously, I mean, because there was an international audience. Yes. I mean. uh, uh, did you upset the Russians because of this? <laughs> well, some of them I do believe it did, but but that, again, no, no uh, officially, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Russian embassy threatened to send a <laughs> protest note, but then how okay. do you write it down? I don't know. I mean, uh, I've not seen it, but uh, uh, then you have to acknowledge that that's him. I mean, you, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> now, in my view, uh, even though I, uh, though I'm not a fan of Mr. Putin, as you could <laughs> no, notice I mean, to, during the talk show, I don't think it's good to encourage uh, uh, no, yeah, an attitude of. Uh, but then, how do you prohibit? it also I mean it's um, true we are talking about the freedom of expression and uh, yes and but then but that's a very careful line you have to should walk. have some limits yeah yeah obvious, uh, obviously you, people can understand that they can obviously uh, misinterpreted 
Yes, yeah. and they can it may be interpreted as a as a sign of okay encouraging to, to be against someone. Russia Russians yeah. in general or, yeah, could be. or be aggressive towards the Russian yeah, minority. Could be. Could be, yeah. But uh, I really enjoyed the time spent with you. Thank you. Especially yeah. because we are contradicting. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, well we agree to disagree <laughs> on, on, on some issues, but that's normal. And but this is a good diplomat, the one which is con which contradicts, not the one which <laughs> says uh, the, the lines from home. No. <laughs> so I appreciate very much the travel from Warsaw to here. Thank you. I that's, really appreciate all, everything you've done for Romania in general you. during your presidency. Uh, the Riga summit was uh, was a great thing and uh, I remain to my, my opinion, but it's not Latvia's, uh, in my view, failure. It's EU uh, because you, the decision was not taken by Latvia. Yeah, which I said was not a failure, right? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. You remain to your opinion as well. Uh, but I really appreciate uh, that you came here and you were our uh, invitee after this special event, which remains in the history yeah. of Europe. Sure will be uh, yeah, yeah. mentioned the, the Riga Summit. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much Mr. Ambassador. Thank uh, you. Mulțumesc și dumneavoastră pentru faptul că ne-ați ne ascultat și ne-am întâlnit săptămâna viitoare cu, cu un alt ambasador. Seară bună! Mm -hmm.